Morning guys, welcome to another Triple F Outdoor Adventures. This morning we're taking a stroll on uh, Glen Ashley Bridge. Uh, we're spinning a bit, seeing if we can't get maybe a yeah, early Garrick uh, or some shad or tailor or bluefish as it's known in other parts of the world. Um, it's just a recovering walk after uh, going down uh, a week or two ago with uh, COVID. So uh, it's time to get some vitamin C again and uh, get some pressure in my lungs see what we can catch maybe we're lucky stay tuned Ghost trip. Well, guys, uh, we're having a, a super morning here on uh, Glen Ashley Beach, uh, just north of Durban. We uh, look around there, beautiful sunrise. is uh, going down uh, high tide was uh, early morning two o'clock i think and low tide it's going to be around about nine if i remember correctly so uh, yeah the sea is pulling back um, just having a walk uh, like i said earlier um, recovering from COVID, so getting vitamin c some fresh air um, into my lungs again but yeah it seems like uh, Everything is, uh, is going well so far with the walk, uh, just about two miles so far and then uh, we're going to turn around and head back towards the truck. Um, for the, those who don't know yet, um, I've uh, moved permanently down to Durban in uh, KwaZulu Natal. Um, the guiding business uh, took too much of a penalt uh, penalty um, and hits uh, due to COVID, uh, so the tourism industry is really battling. And I had to make a decision. Um, so yeah, I'm back in uh, in the supply chain, uh, logistics, freight forwarding, moving of freight, um, running uh, laser logistics, uh, branch manager uh, or distribution center manager in Durban. Um, that's uh, keeping me uh, busy, quite busy during the week. Um, so at this stage, we're looking at only at weekends, uh, grabbing out uh, and getting some fresh air. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of uh, surf, uh, spin, spin fishing from the beach, uh, from the rocks. Um, it's still early. Uh, May is a little bit early um, 
for our shared bluefish or tailor um, but they're coming they're on the way um, same with our garrick garrick um, that's one of my bucket list species uh, that i'm looking to to get stuck into um, sounds like uh, in the eastern cape uh, transkei coast the sardines are starting to to gather so i'm looking forward this year mid-june to later in june to really get stuck into the greater shoal on earth all those sardines coming up north along the kwazulu natal coast so yeah let's stay tuned um, if you like the videos uh, please like and subscribe um, share with your friends comment below if you've got any questions um, this morning i'm using my black hole uh, 10 foot 6 cape cod light rod um, and uh, paired that with a stratic 5000 with 30 pound braid and i'm just uh, casting a few plugs a few poppers a few uh, um, spoons or metals out into the surf to see if we can, can't pick up a, um, a shad or a tailor um, or a bluefish but um, I'm not too, too fast if I don't pick up anything. Uh, for now, the uh, focus is on uh, just getting some fresh air and some workout done again. So uh, we can get the, the lungs working properly and uh, uh, all the heart as well. Um, so yeah, um, offshore, I can see some uh, groups of uh, ski boats gathering on a few spots. Um, so I'm sure offshore the guys are into the Kuta or the Spanish mackerel. Uh, and yellowfin tuna as well so the game is uh, for, uh, planned later on for me is to um, get a, a fishing ski and then uh, yeah take you guys offshore and uh, chase kuta chase yellowfin tuna garrick uh, queenfish everything that's uh, feeding up here in this warm waters along the gazading coast so yeah thanks for watching and stay tuned <coughs> so if you look over my rod tip uh, we've got this, I don't know if you're going to see these big uh, uh, containers, uh, ships uh, But just there in front of that one, over my rod tip There's a bunch of ski boats uh, sitting together there So I'm sure they stuck into tuna Lucky guys, so I hope they get some, some good fish this morning Beautiful morning here On my way, uh, on the beach In front here Mshlanga beach There's the Mshlanga lighthouse so yeah, we're going to walk a bit more and then uh, do some more spinning and then we're going to head back home. So stay tuned, let's see what we can get.